Mike Fiston was a cop for 30 years, homicide detective, worked narcotics. He'd seen it all and thought he'd retire to an easy life as a private detective in South Florida. His first case, brought to him by an attorney 10 years ago, investigate Jeffrey Epstein. I started going out and interviewing witnesses that became victims. I was interviewing one after another. The three girls turned into four girls, turned into five, six, seven, and so on. I couldn't help but think that this could have been my daughter or your daughter or my next door neighbor's daughter. The case is now infamous, a secret sweetheart deal with federal prosecutors, a slap on the wrist jail sentence from the state of Florida. If you had to see the pain on their faces when they found out about this plea deal, not only that, the fear factor that he was going to be out uh, was, was pretty tremendous. Fiston says he and attorney Brad Edwards sought justice through civil suits on behalf of alleged victims, winning settlements against the multimillionaire. Victims were so young, he says it's inconceivable those in Epstein's social circles could not have at least suspected the girls were underage. Once these girls lost their braces and their, their um, pubescent look and they started becoming 16 years old or 17 years old, they were too old for him. So then he started using him for recruiters to bring the younger girls. Epstein did plead guilty in 2008 to two state charges, including procuring a person under 18 for prostitution, a charge so demeaning to the children he victimized, Fiston says it silenced many of them. These were girls that were not of age of consent in the state of Florida. They couldn't be prostitutes. One victim told Fiston she was just 13 when it started. But she looked like she was nine. And she started telling me the whole story about how, you know, she tried to live a good life. She was blaming herself for what Jeffrey did to her. And she was in such pain, this girl, that, listen, nothing really phases me after spending like 13 years in homicide. Nothing really phased me anymore. But that really phased me. I mean, I teared up during this. Court documents obtained by CNN detail how Epstein intimidated, frightened, and threatened potential witnesses against him, including the girls he had abused. The U.S. Attorney's Office knew the FBI was investigating, but chose not to prosecute. Fiston witnessed that harassment firsthand. He hired um, private investigators, and all their job was to do was to follow the girls around, and intimidate them. They were on their bumpers everywhere they went. They pull into a gas station, they pull up behind them. They pull up to a grocery store, they pull up behind them. So this is happening while he's supposedly serving his 13 months? Uh, while he's serving it and after he gets out, while he's on probation. You know, if you're looking at this from a law and justice point of view, whatever that prosecution was, it doesn't sound like it sent any message to Jeffrey Epstein. Well, it did send a message. You could do what you want, and no one's going to mess with you. And Fiston says anyone watching Epstein during his 13-month jail sentence would have seen Epstein being allowed to leave jail during the day, head to his office, where young women would come and go. They were bringing lavish lunches and food into his office. And you saw girls going in? I saw girls going in. Underage? Couldn't tell if they were underage or not. They look young? They look very young. You have no doubt he's been abusing since, since his plea? Oh, absolutely. He can't stop. Epstein's attorney says Jeffrey Epstein has had a spotless record since he got out of jail in 2010. You mentioned you have proof that just recently he's been abusing girls. What, what is the proof? Well, we, we had some people come forward. And you have their names? I have their names, and we've turned that information over to the federal authorities. Which is why Fiston says the victims of Jeffrey Epstein, known and unknown, are rejoicing in his recent arrest. This is all they ever wanted. They didn't want his money. They didn't want, they wanted, this is what they wanted. This is all they wanted.